I am not a threat to any black man. Like I'm tired of having to process this information. I'm like, no, at this moment, at this moment in my life, every single black man in America needs therapy. And you might disagree with me on this, this is just how I truly feel. If you think about it, the amount of trauma that we witness on a day-to-day -day basis is, is mind-boggling, bro. It's literally mind-boggling. I just made a TikTok video about just talking about how I stopped listening to any type of music that promotes the killing of black people. There is not one single group of people that promote themselves killing each other like we do, bro. None whatsoever. What other race or what other, what other ethnicity do you know that their main artistic way of expression is them talking about killing somebody that looks exactly like you? You're killing somebody that looks exactly like your cousin. Somebody that looks exactly like your brother. Somebody that you look like you could be related to. What level of justification drives us to the point where we think that this is okay, where it, it became so normalized? How can we party and turn up to the killing of our own people, bro? We are so brainwashed. It's like we have this veil over our eyes. We, can, we are not able to see the harm that we are causing to each other. Like honestly, the main reason why I stopped listening to Joe music and any of these val is because it went to the point where every time I saw a black person that looks like me around my age group, I saw myself almost like getting ready for something. It's like I'm preparing myself for what could possibly go down. And this, this was breaking my heart. It was really and truly breaking my heart, bro. There should be no reason why I should fear my own people more than I fear any other group. And throughout the years, this has been normalized, but it needs to stop. And the reason why I say that every black man in America needs a therapy for the most part is because I see how hard it is to, to change this way of thinking. It's not even something that I do consciously. It's something that happens to me subconsciously. I don't control the reactions that happened when I find myself in these predicaments. It's like my body automatically goes into it. Now I do catch myself, but how do I prevent myself from going through the same level of thinking in the first place to begin with? Is what I am currently trying to work my way out of. Don't you for one second try to justify the way that we talk about each other. Don't you for one second try to justify the idea that killing each other is okay. It's not okay. And the time where we use and the excuse or is artistic expression, they, no bro, there, there, there are many other ways that you can express yourself. There are many other ways that we can talk about the things that are happening. Regardless of the, of the environment, regardless of the situation that you're in, are we gonna keep accepting the reality that we live in a certain condition? So we are gonna keep perpetuating the same cycle over and over again for our children to come and have to witness and live through the same level of trauma that we've been through? In what world is that okay? We have to want better for ourselves. We have to want better for our people. We have to want better for ourselves. How much longer can we keep going on like this as a people? It's disgusting the way that we treat and talk to each other. It's disgusting the way that we view each other and the way that we make each other seem. I know for me, I'm, I'm just over it. I'm done with it. This journey that I'm on is healing myself. I'm trying to unlearn every single toxic thing that I learned from listening to these toxic music, bro. It's toxic, it's toxic. And not even just from, from, from the male perspective, but from the woman's perspective. It's, it's extremely, extremely hypersexualizing our people, extremely. Now I know we're not supposed to be a monolith. We don't we don't all think the same. We don't all express ourselves the same. But at the end of the day, there's, there's, there's decency. At the end of the day, we have to hold ourselves accountable. We have to. Our young children, our, our young men and our young women, our daughters, our, our sisters are watching this music. They are watching this music. They're growing up on this type of music. And that is automatically going to change their way of thinking. It's going to automatically justify that that action or that behavior is okay. And it's not okay. I saw a video recently of a, of a seven-year-old. The words that were coming out of his mouth. And I looked through the comments, all I saw is black people trying to justify why that is okay. In what world is a seven year old rapping about killing, rapping about running away from cops and bitches and this and that? In what world is that okay? In what world is that justifiable? To the point where the people that are trying to criticize that child are being called a hater or they call them the, I forgot what, I forgot what name they call him, Coco Felon. Like it's, <laughs> ah. Like, it's almost like comedy, but it's it's just sad. A seven-year-old rapping about killing, rapping about running away from cops. What do you know? You don't even know your ABCs. 
Are we going to justify that? And now this person, this young kid is going to be promoted to us. He's going to be promoted to our sons, to our daughters, to our, to our young ones. To think that that is justifiable, it's not justifiable for an adult to rap about those things. Nor is it justifiable for a young, young seven-year-old. Where, like, accountability has left our community. We can no longer hold each other accountable. We can no longer talk about the things that need to be talked about in our community. Because if you do, you are a hater. If you talk about the things that we need to improve on, if you try to hold anybody else within our community accountable, you are called a hater. You are called a person that, no bro, it's not about being a hater, it's just about being the best version of ourselves that we can be for our community, for our people. I don't expect everybody to think the way I think, but I know for a fact that people view me, people judge me, people judge my people based on how I carry myself. And it's sad, it sucks, but it is what it is. And so when I am in public, a lot of the times I do have to be like I'm almost walking on eggshells. And I know nobody should be, should be living like that, but I understand that me acting a fool is gonna automatically lead to somebody else that looks like me getting treated in a, in a negative manner, getting looked at in a negative manner, getting profiled in a negative manner. And I don't want that. I don't wish that for me. I don't wish that for anybody else. It is, it is, it is, it is mind boggling when I think about it that like, why can't we hold ourselves accountable? Why can't we talk about like, yo, what you're doing is, is nonsense, is BS, and our community does not want to tolerate it. Why can't we talk about that? The promotion of violence needs to end. It needs to stop. I am tired of it. I am sick of it. And I just no longer want to play in this system. I no longer want to play in their games. I am not a walking target. I am not a threat to any black man. And I want to feel the same way that there's no other black man in this world walking around that is a target to me. And I want to feel the same way that there's not one other black man walking around that sees me as a target as well. Because I can no longer fathom the idea that we walking around and as soon as you see a, a black man, it's automatically like, oh, okay, it's on sight. You have to, you have to, you have to size yourself up. But you know how crazy that is? When I can easily walk through a group of other people from different races, it's heartbreaking that every single time we gather together, we almost have to feel like we have to put on this pretentious tough guy image. No matter how tough you are, we need to heal. And the place where we're gonna be healing from. The things that we are constantly promoting, the things that we are constantly consuming have no place in our system. It has no place in our society. We have to eradicate it at all costs. We have to. There's too many young kids dying, too many young children dying. How many of these drill rappers are gonna die? Like, think about it, for real. How many other races experience death within their artist industry or within their music industry like we experience in ours? There's country music. There's, 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 there's rock stars. There's, it's only hip hop and rap that experience the same level of unprecedented death year over year with our favorite artists the people that we that we that we really admire and love their music it just they're just dying but at the end of the day it's the same music that they promoting that is leading to their demise and so you see where that discrepancy comes in it's not okay it's not okay and it needs to be eradicated it needs to be stopped like i'm tired of having to process this information. I'm like, no, at this point, at this moment in my life, I just wanna figure out the best way that I can I can make myself look best and make my people look best. That's it. Anything else that doesn't promote that same message is nothing that I wanna associate myself with. It's nothing that I wanna identify myself with. Call me what you want. Call me a sellout, call me whatever. I just can no longer justify the killing of each other. I can no longer do it. I am not going to do it, I'm not going to support it, and if I'm anywhere that I have control over the music, I am not playing any song that talks about killing each other. Simple, point blank, period. I just wanted to drop this message and take it as you take it, but at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel, and we are destroying each other, and it needs to stop. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about violent rap music or hip hop, and let me know how you feel about it. because. Me, I just can no longer go for it. It's, 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 it's a done deal for me. I can no longer tolerate it, No, can I ever promote it again for the rest of my life. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And peace. I'm out.